Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Once Upon a Time, episode five. It is called The Still Small Voice, uh, where we last left off. Uh, so the evil queen and uh, the sheriff are knocking boots. Um, Cinderella tried to run away. She fucking molly walked <laughs> Rumpel Silkskin, aka Mr. Gold, aka Let's Make a Deal for that baby. He got hit upside the head with a with a rock with a with a brick, I should say. Um, all that taught me is never give up your baby for no reason, and also don't agree to vague deals. Also, which Emma fell into that trap because she made a vague deal with uh, Mr. Gold, and uh, I thought she was smarter than that, but she made the deal anyway. So, who knows what he wants? I'm not sure if he knows what uh, memory he has, but. Uh, we're going to find out hopefully in the future, in the future, speaking of future, if you want to be in the future with the rest of the patrons, uh, $5 gets you access to next week's episode. But if you really want to be in the future, I'm talking about distant future, about a month ahead, uh, be sure to join the $10 tier, get you access to a month ahead of content, uh, as well as, uh, polls and other stuff like that for uh, deciding on what we react to next. Uh, with that being said, we about to just jump right into um, Once Upon a Time, Episode 5. Let's go ahead and get it. And Disney Plus Player is garbage. Ooh, somebody is pickpocketing. I will stay the fearsome dragon, my lady, or die trying. dear prince, it was nice knowing you. Yo, if she can't notice that he just ripped away at that rucksack, I don't know what you want. You deserve to get robbed at that point. Oh, a cricket. I love crickets. Oh, why? But they get to do whatever they want. Hopping from place to place. They're free. You're free. Lots of things are free. I don't know why you latched on to cricket. You are who you are. Well, maybe I want to be something else. That from a cricket. Told you. Trouble. Good is another word for weak. What? Let us do the thinking for you. That's what parents are for. To help you. You are who you are, and there's no changing it, Jiminy. Oh, we get a Jiminy Cricket back in backstory? All right. He's like, come on, could you at least wear the badge? What the hell was that? Sheriff, set up a police perimeter. Marco, why don't you help with the fire department? Miss Swan. This is now official town business. You're free to go. Oh, well, actually, I work for the town now. She's my new deputy. Why? Why would he do that? Pave it. Pave it? <laughs> Out of nowhere. There's something down there. Henry, what are you doing here? What's down there? Nothing. Now step back. In fact, now everyone, I know what's down there. Please, Why would please, he raise that question of what's back. down there? Thank you. Did you get here? You're yeah, changing. that is kind of sus. You're weakening the curse. That's not what's happening. Yes, it is. Did you do anything different today? Because something made this happen. <clears throat> yeah, literally, as, she, as soon as she put on the badge. The in the car. Look for me. Okay. You're is there other is, is there other therapists or psychologists he can go to? Because. You will lose your because it sounds like Jimmy has some leverage until you're a tiny shrunken little creature and this will be the only roof over your damn head does he does he have any like magic powers or something because it's like you're being a bitch and let's just say one like the town just decided to be like hey we ain't going to deal with this no more lumps in strange places i've got burning sensations you better stay with us Ugh. just until we die now be a good what? boy and set up hey, just until you die don't give me any ideas hey you better get home you're gonna catch a cold so are you here have my umbrella i don't live far I don't get the like thing with the crickets or whatever. I symbolizing freedom, but there's like a like a shit ton of other things you could use to symbolize freedom. I'm just saying. Not want to go down there. 
Emma's here, and stuff's happening. I have to look Emma, at it. Emma, all right, this is unreasonable. There is no proof. Look, all of this, all of this is a delusion. Do you know what a delusion is? I, I think so. It's something that's not, <laughs> something that's not healthy. <laughs> I would stop and the conversation if I got that sort of answer. I'd be like, okay. Psychosis. Do you know what psychosis is? That, that's when you can no longer tell what's real. And if that continues, then, then I have to lock you away. Henry, look, this has to stop for your own good. You gotta wake up. This nonsense must end. At this point, like, I'd just be like, that's unsafe regardless, so you need to not do that. Yep. Can I guess too? Oh, this is Nolan. Oh shit, I forgot they he was yeah, married in this timeline. In this world. Yeah. Yeah, Ajax. As in the soap, yeah, I use that like all the time. I'm the worst person in the world. Really? In the whole Apparently world. Prince Charming was supposed to How die. I did not know that know Asia. that that they were gonna just like Michelle. kill off that character. Kid, what happened? He said I'm suffering from psychosis. Archie! Archie! Or this guy. Like, he's getting it from both Archie. ends. He's like... You told me not to take the fantasy away. You told me it would devastate him. Of course it's... Well, he's not here. Oh, let me guess. He wants spelunking. Oh. I do. <laughs> Yo, this kid looks deranged. Still, like, it was in his best interest to st not have him to go into an abandoned mine shaft, magic or no magic. Like, the fuck are you doing, kid? Put it in there, turns and way. Anything will work. Okay. So I drug them and then kill them. Nothing more to give to me. <laughs> like, I would just leave. If you're at the point where it's just like, yo, I need to. What is that glass stuff? Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, but run. Why would you drop? Oh, I think that was a different rock. Ooh. Come on, Henry, come on. You don't believe me? You'll see. You'll see. Henry! You'll Henry, see. Henry, come back! All right. Henry! Even though Henry's in the right, he's in the wrong in the scenario. He's clearly put himself in danger when he shouldn't have. For your kindness. I just can't get it out of my mind. Terrible way to go. Oh, what? What happened? Plague. plague. The next town over, we just passed through. The plague? Well, a plague, certainly. Is Why would you here? say that? Because okay? uh, oh, if you said there was a plague next we town over, time. you were they there. Elves from elves. Get out of my house. There be something here you would want. <sighs> I'm sure we could come up with something. They're cleaning them house out out of house. I would be like, this seems kind of fishy. Start loading up. This was the elf talk. Oh my! We must have given whatever you had to that family. Why would you steal something that you even know what it did? I would just I kill you on principle. I don't care, parents or not. Oh no. Those dolls are hideous. No, because we are trapped underground in an abandoned mine, Harry. And there is no way out. <laughs> uh oh. 
Like, damn. Something big. Like what? Explosives. Just, just blow this place up. We get the mine workers in and out. It was all the way to the top. That's why we could hear Pongo. Can we make it work? Where's Pinocchio at? Is a Pinocchio shot. a real boy? What about when you're with her? You remember your dog? Yeah, I lied. Ooh, he doesn't remember Ajax. She's just so loving. I didn't want to disappoint her. But none of it feels right. You know, a dog named Ajax? Who would name a dog that? <gasps> If you really are about protecting against viruses that and antibacterial, I, I don't know. I was just literally just saying words at that point. But it's also natural for you to be able to be free to think the things that you want to think. So. Oh, however, I, there is I, a I line you have to like draw. Like, if so. if magic didn't really exist. Okay. Well, I'd be like, should. okay, there is a line that you have to kind of draw. And literally the whole town is here. You know your town is boring when it's just like, hey, so, there's a kid and a guy stuck in a mine next? shaft. Let's go check it out. Yo, if he dies. Oh, that's a very strong <laughs> umbrella handle. Ooh, you My go, girl. Safety hasn't changed a thing, Dr. Hopper. You will do as I say, or you... Or what? You'll ruin my life? You'll do your worst? Because I will always do my best. Ooh. Don't test me. He is spitting right now. Leave me alone. Let me do my work in peace. Really? Why is that? <laughs> because someday, Madam Mayor, you may find yourself in a custody battle. Ooh. And you know how the court determines who is a fit parent? They consult an expert, particularly one. That's what I'm saying. It's like she has to abide by these rules. So. Like she can't just be hamming it up, yes, being all evil queen that. and shit in IRL. And you allow me to do my work. Because once a social worker comes knocking. Let me do it the way my conscience tells me to. He will grow up to face many challenges. Do you want to help him? Uh, I can't get away from these people. They're my parents. They're... Who I am. Do they have magical powers that keep you binded to them? Like, the oh, fuck? Like? They're old. Fuck them. How do you feel? Find the boy, Jiminy. You will live as many years as you need to help him. Just find him. Oh shit, never mind. If he's immortal, well... His name is Geppetto. Oh, the boy's Geppetto. Shit, he get to live long as fuck. Yeah, that's something you don't really notice often, like the sound of crickets, because it's such a, like your brain auto-completes the fact that like, oh, nighttime noise is crickets. So I wouldn't be able to notice like, where crickets, or were there any crickets at night? Yeah, these people are just bored. There's nothing else better to do. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that has been episode uh, five of Once Upon a Time. Uh, st uh, still a small voice. I liked that episode. It was a nice little Jimmy ep Jiminy episode. We didn't really progress the the plot along when it comes to the curse, but Regina is clearly hiding some more stuff. Uh, I'm assuming that she still has her memories of like the, uh, the 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 back in the day, the story book stuff. Uh, because why would she be so secretive about that thing if she didn't know what that was? But as a speculation, uh, I kind of like didn't really buy the fact that he wished to be a cricket for the rest of his life uh, to help out the boy. Like you could think I would have been like a majestic eagle. They're free. They s represent freedom in America. 
uh, a wolf, a fox, hell, even a fucking I'll be I'll be a a a, a, a mouse, but a cricket, nah, nah, son. But it's just kind of weird the fact that he's just like, yeah, the freest thing ever, a cricket, which that was a, a little bit wonky storytelling to kind of like buy the motivation of uh what the the tie between Jiminy and him being a cricket. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, uh, not much more to say. The whole, uh, what's his face? What, what's his name? IRL, or not IRL, but in the, the cursed world, David, I think, and Mary Margaret, they having sort of a fling, but his girlfriend or his wife is there and it's awkward, so Mary Margaret's uh, choosing to be the bigger person, being like, nah, uh, uh, I'm gonna back away from this. But if here's my thinking. Uh, here is my thinking when it comes to relationships. If they ain't got no children, it's it's, it's fair play. You, the only life you're ruining is the other person's, I guess. Uh, so I mean, like, I would just like let true love live. Like, don't stay married to somebody that you're not attracted to or don't love or you're only married to because of money or whatever, fuck. Marry whoever you want to marry or date whoever you want to date. It's going to, you want to break some hearts, but at least at the end of the day, you'll be happy. This is terrible relationship advice from Yanni. And if you want to hear more terrible relationship advice from Yanni, uh, join the Discord. Uh, join the Discord. Join the Once Upon a Time channel. Let's talk about Once Upon a Time. Uh, and also, if you guys want to be a week ahead, uh, join the Patreon. Five dollars get you early access. Uh, Ten dollars get you access to a month ahead, so you guys get to be in the future with the future boys and discuss about stuff. Future, I guess. Anyway, uh, with that being said, see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.